Hi everyone, welcome back to week 3, Build Some Muscles. My name is Leonard, I'm an exercise trainer in Yishun Health, Population Health and Community Transformation. So here we are today with minimum equipment. All we need is a chair with a backrest, a yoga mat or an anti steep mat to prevent the chair from moving forward or backwards. Another thing special about it is a pair of water bottle as a weight or if you want to take up the challenge you can get about 1.2 liters of water okay so before we get started a few things to take note first to ensure that you are physically well otherwise consult a doctor have enough rest before you embark in any physical activities second proper hydration is very important drink adequate amount of water get rest before you start the exercise. Third, always remember to pace yourself. Do it slowly. If you think that this is too challenging for you, you can always pause the video, adjust accordingly to your own pace, and resume the video anytime you want. All right, you good to start. I can did you a dynamic warm up, and we can proceed on. Both hands at the side of the seat, neck rotation, and go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both hands on your shoulder, forward rotation, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and backwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, excellent, both hands interlock and lift them up, 1, remember at all times you have to keep your back straight, 2, 3, 4, Five, last five, last four, last three, last two, and last one. Excellent. Place both hands at the back of your head, both arms close them together and extend outwards. One, two, three, four. Get the shoulder joints all warm up. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. All right. Let's warm up the lower limbs. Both hands at the side of the chair to secure your balance. We're going to lift up the left leg. Ready? Left knee raise up. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold it there for five, four, three, two, excellent, and change over the right side and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and hold it there for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Alright. So the next one will be drawing a circle. So create a circular movement. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done! Last one, go and we are good to go. Alright, calf raises and go. So, a few raise and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Well done, excellent. All right, before we start the resistance exercises, we need to ensure that your form, you're on the right form before we put on some weights. All right, so the first exercise is a mixture of a squat and a shoulder press. So just in case you forget what is a squat and shoulder press, you can, feel, you can refer back to a week one, build some muscles, and a week two, build some muscles. Okay, so how does it go by? The first one will be a squat position. So we're going to correct the form first. So first thing you guys imagine that you're holding on to a water bottle. So you will be going downwards. Remember the golden rule is the knee never crosses the toe. What I mean by the knee doesn't cross the toe, this is the examples of the knee crossing, the, crossing over the toe, which is a wrong one. All right, it's going to hurt your knee over time. A lot of body weight will be crossing over to your knee. All right, so in case of that, we will be doing a squat position with the knee keep it close to the back. So you're going down. So all the force will be transferred back to the feet. Okay. So we're going to lift up the bottle, the imaginary bottle, and we're going to press them up to our above our head level. So both of our arms will be at the side of okay of our ear. Can we do that? Be good. So we'll be going down at step one. Lift it up and push it up straight. Get down on your hands and back to the side of your thigh. Okay? So we're gonna give this a try for five times before we start using the water bottle as a weight. Alright? We're good to go five times. So at the side, ready, legs study wide apart. Alright? Downwards. Up. Clinch on it and press up. Back to down, step one, down, step two, bottles up, step three, press on in. Alright, three more to go, downwards, up, push, last two to go, downwards, up, and push, last one, downwards, up and push. Well done, excellent. So let's take out the challenge. You can choose your weight. So for this week three, I'll be choosing something heavier. As for week two, I get something lighter in return. All right. So this time I have to do a progression. So same thing. Grab a bottle with you. Place it at the side of your thigh. So we're gonna execute the same movements like what we did earlier. All right. So, a few things to check again. Knee doesn't cross us the toe. Excellent, good. So, legs are one apart. Good. And goes down. Bring it up. And push. Okay, both of your arms will be aligned with your ear level. Back downwards again. Down. Okay, keep the back straight. Try not to round your back or arch the back. Alright? Two. Eight more to go. Down. Upwards. Seven. Okay. Seven more. Last six. Same thing, always pace yourself. If you require more time to rest, you can always rest first. Pause the video and resume anytime. Alright, we got five more to go. Last four, down, up, and push it up. Three more to go, down, good, and push it up. So if you're feeling that the knee is giving you, giving you a, a, a big problem, you don't have to go all the way down, just partial, okay? Just partial. A partial squat will be good enough. Two more to go, halfway there, up, and push. Last one. Downwards. Clean it up. And press. Well done. Let's place the bottle at the side. Have a short rest. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll be having a lunges movement. So lunges movement, this is going to help you in 
climbing up the stairs or climbing up the curb. So mainly climbing up the stairs requires a lot of single leg movements where a leg will be forward to generate force to push yourself up. So all these movements are very essential in your daily lifestyle that you can use. So the first move, the second movements, right? Same thing, we're gonna create a shoulder width for past one. Have our hands going on the side, okay? Create support. So we're gonna place our left leg upwards. So golden rule stays golden rules. Knee doesn't cause us the toe. Okay, so what we're gonna do in this spot here, right? Is we're gonna shift the back leg to the front. Okay? If you find this challenging, you can always find a chance to support your stability. Okay? So if you're losing a little bit balance, unable to balance well, get a chair at the side. Hold on to the chair. Alright? So for this start now, I'm gonna be holding on to the chair. So same we keep in form. Left leg out. Knee doesn't cross the toe. The back of your feet will be a tip toe. You won't be having your feet down. Very important. If you have your feet flat down, you will get a lot of stress on the calf area. Okay? So remember to take note that your feet, your heels have to lift up from the platform. Okay? Do not have a full flat feet down. It's caused a lot of stress to the calf. Then you won't be enjoying doing this. Okay? Good. So same thing again, I'm going to restart. Having my feet slightly wide apart. Left leg. Out. Tip toe. Okay, knees slightly bend a little. And come up back. So go out. Come up back. Alright, can we do that? Okay, good. So same thing, we'll be doing a trial. Try for the form first. Okay, we're going to test out the form before we really start on the water bottle as weight. Same thing, just imagine that you're holding on to a bottle. Okay? Left leg out, left leg return back. Okay? Good. Left leg out, left leg return back. Two, three more go. Left leg out, left leg return back. Two more. Last one. Well done, okay? Short rest, we're going to change over. We're going to use the same application, okay? So same thing. This time will be my left leg outwards, okay? I'm going to work along my right leg. The same, okay? Left leg out. And come back. Okay? Left leg out. And come back. Left leg out and come back. Two more. Last one go. Fantastic. Okay. So what we're gonna do next? A progression. We're gonna hold on to the water bottle to grab a pair of water bottle. If you still need the chair for balance, you can have one bottle with you. If you don't need the chair, you can have both bottles with you. I'll be doing two different variations, alright? So one with, with a bottle and with a support of chair. So same thing, I'm going to work on my right leg. So my left leg has to go out, alright? So I'm going to keep the bottles up to my shoulder level. We'll be doing this for five repetitions. Five. Ready? Left leg and go. One. Two, three, four, five. Excellent. We're gonna change over. Right hand going on to the bottle. This time will be our right leg backwards. Apologize for the earlier part. I was doing it continuously on my left leg. Alright, so this time upwards, same thing. Ready? Right leg up. Right leg come back. Right leg up. Remember that the left knee doesn't cross us the toe. Last two. Last one. Slight bend to the front. Bend to the front here. And upwards back. And relax. Well done. Okay. Have a short rest. I'm going to show you the second variations, alright? 
So the second part is without holding on to the chair back rest. All right. So make sure that you have enough balance to do these exercise movements. All right. So same thing. You want to keep both both arms upwards. Okay, the bottle on. Then I'm going to do on my left leg. So my left leg goes out. Okay, and left leg come back. One, two, regain my balance. Three, four, five. Good. Change over. Right leg. One, two, three, last two, four, five. Excellent. So that's a tip to keep your balance secure. So how does it go by? If you notice that if the lunges that I'm doing, right, if your stance is too closey, you will lose balance. So create more balance, alright? So create more balance by having both of the legs spread slightly outwards a bit. So you can see there's a big distance here rather than I'm putting in in a single line. So you just imagine you're standing in a single line, it tends to fall off easily. So spread across your center of gravity to make sure that you are well balanced. Alright? Good! Excellent! Well done! Okay? So the third one, we're going to add a little bit element in the lunges. So how do we go about it? Same thing like what you did earlier. Both hands will be holding on. Or one hand will be holding on to the backrest. So your left leg will be moving outwards. For this time, you will be punching forward. And return back. In same hand and same leg. Coordinate well. Alright? So outwards and come back. Outwards. And return back. Okay, can we do that for five for each side? I think you can do it. Alright. So quickly grab a bottle with you. Slow and steady. Remember what we talked about securing your balance. Having your legs slightly wider a little bit. Alright? Create more center of gravity. So same, my left leg. Ready? And go. And come back together. Synchronize them together. Out. And come back in. Out. In. Excellent. Good. Two more to go. Remember the back of the feet is just tiptoe. Do not place your feet flat on the ground. So you get a lot of stress on your left calf. Last one and excellent. I work on my shoulder. I work on my legs too. Alright? So the next one. Change over. Same thing. Right leg upwards. And Go. Come back. Out. Back. Out. Back. Last two. Last one. And well done. Have a short rest. Okay, a short rest. Breathe in and out. As a man, right, if you require to pause the video, hydrate yourself and return back to the exercise, no problem at all, okay? And short rest first, three counts, with in, and out. In, out. Last one, in, and out. Excellent! Very good! So the third one here, okay, it's a little challenging now, alright? So, Remember our week 2 build some muscles, we did some wood chopper. Alright, so remember this particular move, we're gonna chop, we're gonna slice the wood. Okay, in the diagonal movements. Alright, so we're gonna use these movements and mix with what we did earlier in lunges. So for the lunges, right, we're gonna create a side move together. A side move together. Okay, so before that, right, we'll be correcting your form first, make sure that you've got the right form before we put the bottles on. Alright? So just imagine that you are holding on to a bottle. Let's slightly wide apart, holding on to the bottle. The movements will be together with your arms and your hands shift them together. Make sure you have enough balance, okay? If you think that this is too challenging, always place a chair at the side. As and when you can grab on the chair and hold them and secure them, alright? 
So next time you want to park, imagine you're holding on a bottle and cross. Come back. Cross. Come back. Cross. Back. Last two. Cross. Up. Last one. Cross. And return back to the midline. Alright. So we're going to change over. On my right side, I'm going to slice and cross together. It's like a skating. And back upwards. Down. Back. Three more. Last two. Last one. Excellent. Okay, shall we take out the challenge? Good. Let's pick up the bottle. And we are going for five for each side. So if you think that this is not challenging enough, you can always up the repetition up to 10 or 15 repetitions. Alright? But always remember to listen to your body and do it slowly. Okay? So we got five. Hold on to it first. Ready? Left leg, cross, followed by a diagonal slash out. Ready? Go! One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Perfect. Change over. Ready? Right leg cross over to the left side and go. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent! Well done! After all, not very challenging, right? Have a on the shoulder. Well done! Good! So that's about it for Build some muscles on week 3. So I'm going to let you a cool down and after that we call it a day. So for example, if you want to do this, you can repeat the whole entire cycle for 3 sets. So what you are seeing here today is only just one set. Alright? So you can take out the challenge and do it 2 or 3. But remember to start slow and pace yourself well. Alright? So good. We're going to start off with a cool down. Ready for cool down and let's go. So for this stretching, you'll be doing seven steps of stretching. Each stretch for this video, I'll be holding for three to five seconds. But if you're doing it at home, you can pause the video and do it for 20 to 30 seconds. Okay? And then you can resume back and check out the next steps. So these are seven steps. The first step, both hands interlock round your shoulder. Push forward. Step two, both arms will be aligned to your ear level, push it upwards. Have a good stretch on the shoulder. Step three, place both hands to the back of the head and expand both arms to the back. Step four, sit all the way inwards with your legs slightly expand outwards. Both hands will be holding on to the chair, body lean forward. You will get a good stretch on the inner thigh muscles. Step 5, you can sit out a little till your feet are flat on the ground. Okay, you can go below your thigh, wrap them up and you're going to lift them up to your chest level. Remember to keep your body straight at all times. Same thing, change over. If you're unable to do so, you can, you can loop a towel underneath your thigh and lift them up close to your chest. Good. Step 6, right leg cross over to the left leg, body seat up straight. Both hands you can either choose to place the side of the chair to secure a balance or you can place it on your thigh while keeping the back straight and moving forward. Have a good stretch on the buttocks muscles and change over. Excellent. Remember not to round your back. You want to keep your back straight at all times. Okay? Step 7. The last one. Place your right leg out. Toes pointing up the ceiling at all times. Both hands at the side of the chair. Keep your back straight. You are able to feel 
the back of your thigh, which refers to your hamstring muscles. Okay, and goes down. If you're unable to keep the feet facing up the ceiling, you can place your feet against the wall. Change over. And well done. Give yourself a round of applause. Alright. So stay tuned for week 3 Roja where cardio and resistance exercises combining together into one workout. Alright, remember to stay hydrated and stay tuned.